Changing minds one thought at a time. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Changing Minds Online Empowering Safe Series. Tonight, I am by myself. Jessica is in flight, so we're going to have a great time anyway. I have a wonderful, phenomenal, outstanding guest for you tonight. And you know, when we bring the fire, we bring the heat. You know what? (laughs) And she is going to do just that. She is an author. She is a co-host. She is the platform builder, better known as Minister Dr. Renee Sunday. Hello. How are you doing today, Minister Sunday? Oh, I'm doing just great. How are you doing I am awesome. I am awesome. I am so excited to talk about our topic for today, and that is three ways to build your dreams, so unlock your dreams. So, you know, when we were talking, you know, I always know that you're going to have a wonderful topic to share, a wonderful message. You know, you always come with wonderful tidbits, and I know that tonight is not going to be any different. So, But I need the audience to know more about you, and congratulations on becoming a licensed minister. Tell us about that. Well, Dr. Finch, you're just so kind, and and thank you so much for this opportunity to be on your platform. Uh, You know, it's amazing that you asked that because so many people have told me throughout my, you know, really high school, college, and then, of course, medical school, and throughout my life, really, that you're going to be a preacher. <laughs> you know how they say. And actually, as life happens, um, I actually am, I did my first initial sermon, but as my minister, my pastor always said, I was being prepared to be where I am right now. So God has entrusted me to do so many things. I'm an uh, anesthesiologist. I just had my 15-year reunion with that. And then I'm a radio host, um, uh, I'm an author, I'm a publisher. Uh, I just, uh, you just sum all that up, Dr. Finch. I'm just a servant of God. Whatever he entrusts me to do, I my I do my darnest, and I know that's not a nice word to say, but I do my best to do it with spirit of excellence. So whatever he gives me, I try my best to do it. <laughs> Yes, and you know what? It does. Uh, you know that sometimes darkness is sometimes what we have to do because it sometimes it takes a lot of effort to you know follow through with the plan that He has given us. You know, and you know it doesn't always come easy. So sometimes it takes more than our best. <laughs> you know, it takes a little bit more might than we thought that we had. So you know that might be just the right word in some cases, right? Yeah, you're right (laughs) (laughs) And you know um, I would like Because this is an empowering faith series I would like to know Just a little bit before we go into the topic Tell us about What faith means to you Wow, now that's a question That I can say that I had to It was a process Because but, you know, the good thing, Dr. Finch, I was uh, raised in a Christian foundation. So from a small child, I knew it wasn't all about me. I knew it wasn't because I did it. I had the Christian background, so I knew God was directing me and leading me. But, you know, we always get to that point, not even saying that we're doing it or you kind of think you can do it without him. Basically what I'm saying is you create your own testimony, and everybody know what I mean that about that. And so my parents and my and people around me never stopped praying for me. And then when I saw that things weren't working out like it's supposed to, I had to, you know, reunite, I guess, and replenish my relationship with God. And, you know, when you're in your purpose, things would be sweatless, but don't get it twisted, as the kids say. You will have trials and tribulations because Jesus did it, and you're not, you're going to have what he has. <laughs> you know, so when faith comes in, faith to me is being steadfast. You're not going to see the end of the coin. And now God knows the beginning and the end, but you're not going to see the end. When he gives you some of your spirit, your dreams, your goals, your passion, of course, and your purpose in life, you have to have faith to see that thing in. 
Now, we know the word says a mustard seed. That's a very small seed. We have to have just a little bit of a mustard seed that we know without any doubt that it's going to come to pass. So faith is not seeing it, but you knowing without a doubt in your heart it's going to come to pass. And you got to walk it out. <laughs> yes, I love that. That's right. Sometimes you, you're right. Sometimes you got to walk it out. And a lot of people needed that word because, you know, right now they are looking to walk it out. They're looking to reach their their goals and that is and their dreams, as we're going to be talking about. And that's a great segue to talk about how, you know, using your faith, you know, and the other three tips that you're going to give us to unlock those dreams. So I'm going to let you go ahead into the three uh, steps to unlocking your dream. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you again, Dr. Finch, for the opportunity. But the three things I want to talk about in regards of, you know, you know, making your dreams come to pass, making them come true. You know, as we say all the time, make manifestations. We want to bring it from the spiritual to the natural because guess what? It's already done in the spiritual, but we have to tap in to the spiritual realm to bring it to the natural. Now, that's why we have a lot of concerns. We have a lot of people saying, I prayed to God already. I prayed to him 10 years ago. I prayed to him two weeks ago, and nothing's happened. You know, everything is a process, number one. Remember that. Everything is a process. And then the other thing to remember is you have to wait on God's timing and guess what, and God's season. Those are two different things because I'm a borrowed analogy from Bishop T.D. Jakes. He says, he has a car for his son, and his son at that time was three years old. Now, the car was a new car. Nothing's wrong with the car. You know, they sold it brand new, no miles on it, but it was checked out by the dealership and whoever made it, that it was A1 ready to be on the road. Now, the number two, guess what? The roads are fine. Now, we do have some potholes, and if you're in Atlanta, we have plenty of potholes, And but the road, you can drive a car on it. That's the point I'm making. But guess what? The son is three years old. The son is not equipped to actually drive the car. He actually has to be more mature. He actually has to learn. He has to know something in order to drive the car. So that's what we have to do in life. The things that we want in, the things that we actually desire to have, the manifestation we want to happen in this year, guess what? We have to make sure we're equipped. We got to realize it's a process. But the thing I want to make sure that we realize, what is belief? <laughs> That's the number one thing to turn on our dreams is what? Belief. What are you believing in? You know, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. And let me follow up with 6. And all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. So that's telling us, Okay, we can't believe in ourselves, <laughs> and we need to lean on him and depend on him, and guess what? He will make the path straight. Now, if you look in the Amplified Version, it actually says make it straight and make it plain. So it won't be no confusion. If you're having any confusion right now in your decisions, guess what? You step back a minute, regroup, get around people that's like-minded. Now, I'm specifically saying like-minded to actually – help you to make the decision, okay? So believing is having confidence, having faith, having something that you give credence to, something that you know is faithful and something that is true. Now, we said belief. Okay, we believe stuff. Now, we turn, again, I love using analogies of the car again because everybody (laughs) goes out to the car. We turn the switch. Guess what? We want the car to start. Now, that happened one day. I got up. That didn't happen, but, you know, I said, uh-oh, I need to call AAA. So we, I knew that car was supposed to start. Well, you go somewhere and sit in a chair. You know, Dr. Pitch at the conference, when, you ha- when she went to have a seat, when she went up to speak, she knew that mic was supposed to be on because somebody's supposed to already have checked that. Hallelujah. Okay? So we know these things going to work. With a shadow of that, we know it's already going to work. So we believe in it. We didn't even think twice about it. But guess what? That's what we have to be about our dreams. When God has put the dreams in us, when he has put the passion in us, which leads to our purpose and our destiny in life, 
We need to believe it. Don't say, Lord, this is too big for me. You know, I heard one young lady says, um, if your dreams and your purpose, if you can attain them, you're not dreaming big enough. So most of us, you know, I want to say 100% of the time, the destiny you have in life, guess what? You got to depend on somebody else because we are relationship people. That's why God has that relationship set up. You really can't do nothing by yourself, okay? You got to actually be with him in a relationship, and guess what? He will bring the right people. Because I know somebody just said, well, no, I could do, no you got to do it with him because he strengthens you, and he will send the right people. Yes, people may have talked about you. They may act like they don't like you. You know, to the young people, they may not be commenting on your post. They may not be liking you. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. People are watching you. So make sure, number one, that you believe it. Now, the next thing, I'm going to go real quick because I know y'all know I can talk. I'm a minister now. So <laughs> now the, the, the next thing is what are we really, what are we really trusting? What are we really looking at? You know, I always make a reference of our eye gates. And the gates are, you know, your eyes, you have two. Your ears, you have two. Your mouth, you just have one, and you have one nose. So we need to watch what we bring in and, of course, what we put out. you got to watch that because we don't want to say the wrong thing because whatever you speak, as the word says, you know, death and life is in the power of, you know, the tongue. So you can say, oh, I'm sick all the time. And then guess what? You're going to be sick. If you say I'm a millionaire, I'm helping people, guess what? You're going to draw that attraction to you, and it's going to manifest, Okay. You got to trust the process. Now, trust the process brings a whole bunch of things. And Dr. Fincher lets you know, just like she's doing, you got to network. You got to actually, Google needs to be your best friend and YouTube as well. You need to actually get a strategy together. You got to put a plan together. You know, not saying because you're in the body of Christ that you don't make a strategy and a plan. What the word says, write it out and make it plain. That's what it says, right? So we got to write things down. Now, I have to bring my medical background in. <laughs> when you actually write something down, you're actually stimulating certain hormones. Now, I can tell you specifically what they are, but we're going to just say certain hormones at this level that actually gets your brain excited. And guess what you know? If try this out. If you get an idea, a good idea. Now, it works with negative two, but you want to concentrate on positive idea. The next thing you're going to know, you're going to have written out of your a whole bunch of stuff that you need to do. You have written out a whole plan for our uh, music people have written a whole song. You have written your whole speech that you need to do. You have filled up your whole mission, your vision board. You got to do another vision board because guess what? You take care of the first one. So that's what I'm trying to let you know, that you need to write things out. You have to trust the process because we got to trust God. You cannot trust man. Psalms 118.8 says, do not put your confidence put your confidence in him and not in man because we know one minute somebody will support you and the next minute, not even saying the next day or the next week, they will actually not do you right. People, unfortunate, the human nature, we are selfish. It's, it, we want it to be all about us. We want, the, we want all the cake and eat it too as they say, the slogan. But we have to remember that we are a body of Christ. We are empowering each other, especially women. We need to stick together. We need to empower each other that we can make everybody's purpose come to pass. Because guess what? Even though you do media, I do media, you're a speaker, I'm a speaker, guess what? I can learn some things. I admire Dr. Finch and Jessica and the things that they do. I love it. I love it. I, even though we do media together, we do certain things together, guess what? I'm always teachable, okay? I always teachable. Yes. Now, one thing, you know, I have <laughs> – but the last thing, I don't want to hold up too much time is what we got to do is have a uh, – we need to execute the plan. We need to walk it out. We need to make sure – we need to move our – feet back and forth. We need to do some type of action. Maybe that happens if you're spiritual. That happens if, you know, if you want to bring it over to your business. But everything you do on a personal level, guess what? It does stem over to your business. So we need to remember 
that whatever we do, now if it doesn't work the first time, don't give up. You know, I always say, don't stop, get it, get it. I say that. I know that's a song, but we say that because you cannot stop. You cannot give up because that is not an option. Because when you and your purpose, guess what? I'm in my purpose. If you having some pain, guess what? Somebody's missing in the link here. So we actually need to help each other. We need to make sure everybody's taken care of. Guess what? I always use the analogy of the sun, the moon, and a pizza. You know, when you cut that pizza up, guess what? Everybody can have a piece of the pie, as they say, piece of the pizza. You don't have to work. I tell people, don't say the C word around me. And the C word is competition because it's not competition. They are my peers. They are my colleagues. We can learn from each other. We can uh, support each other. We can collaborate. We can actually make one thing much bigger than that, that thing would be individually. So the things we need to remember, the three things to unlock your dreams, that you can have manifestations, that you can, they can come true, is we need to believe it in our heart, have the right mindset. That's what we're talking about. you got to believe it. you got to trust it. And you got to execute a plan, and you got to walk it out. Because God has great plans for you, as Jeremiah twenty nine eleven has great plans for you, and he wants you to prosper, not just in one area with money, but every area of your life, your health, your strength, everything. And it will come to pass if you do these three things, believe, trust, and you got to walk it out. And you know, Dr. Finch, I got to say it in there somewhere, you know, don't stop what get it, get it. <laughs> Back to you, Dr. Fenton. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean, those points are very, very, very important. You know, we do have to believe. Then we have to make sure that we trust the process. And then we have to put some action to it. I mean, it's so important because we can plan all day, but if there's no action, there is no execution. You know, and a lot of people think that, yeah, they got the plan together, but if they don't have the time to put the execution together, if they don't give the effort to put the execution together, then what is really the purpose? Why did you waste all that time planning if you don't plan to do anything with it? You know what I'm saying? Why do you plan to come together and build all this time to make these dreams, you know, to manifest all this and to do your vision boards and your this and that? And you don't plan to do anything with it. I mean, that is a very, very, very important piece, you know. And we, I love that point that you were saying. And then you, I especially love the part about there's always a piece of the pie for everybody. Stop with the competition. Stop with the competition. Instead, collaborate. Because guess what? If we work together, it's easier than doing it by yourself, you know. And guess what? You might learn something in the process because your way is not always the right way or it's not always the fastest way or it may not be the best way. That's the part of collaboration so you can get to know these things. What do you think on that, Dr. Sunday? Oh, Lord. I, I, you know, I, if I didn't have the platform builder name, I would have said that I'm the, I'm the collaborator. I, I love collaborating with people. I I, I I mean, because, you know, I'm here in Atlanta, and everybody wants to do an event in Atlanta. And I say, I'm going to just tell you the good and bad about Atlanta. I'm just being real. But I love it when people, you know, think that, you know, that I kind of know where to go and where to not go. But I really, um, the collaboration, actually, you're right. You, you hit it right on the head when you said it's easier. Because the way I do it, and the way Dr. Finch and Jessica do it is totally different because we bring in our different expertise. We bring in our different gifts that God has given us. And guess what? The whole premise for all of us is to impact other people's lives. And, and, and I tell people this, Dr. Finch, don't worry about the money. It's going to run you down when you're doing the right thing. <laughs> yes, yes, that is such a good word, you know. And and I want to go back to the action, and I really want to know what you think about action. I want to know what are you really feeling about the action piece because at the end of the day, you know, sometimes we do all of this planning, but we don't have that off, that motion to step out on faith and get it done. So what are your suggestions for giving them that off 
to get it done by stepping out on faith. Well, let me be transparent, Dr. Finch. Don't do, if you can, what I did. Because, see, I was, you know, I was coming from the medical field, so I'm used to more facts. So if I, and let me just be real, if I write an order saying do this for a patient, guarantee that's going to be done, and it's going to be done in a timely fashion. Now, in the in the in the, I'm gonna just say corporate America, people that's doing coaching, people that's doing, you know, you have a book. Even with ministry, I, and I know that's bad to say, even with ministries, the churches, you have to put yourself in front of the people. They have to look at you up and down. They have to really, truly, truly, truly trust you. When I come in and say I'm Dr. Renee Sunday, I'm your anesthesiologist. I may have somebody say, and I love this, Dr. Fish, that you're too young to be doing this. I like that one. But the thing is, they don't deny me or they say, okay, I don't want this anesthesia. But let me tell you, in your business and your careers that you're doing, you are going to have to be consistent. And when you feel like you don't feel like doing it, you have to be around like-minded people Turn on you some relaxing music. And, and that's why I always say you can't quit. That's not an option. What I do, I did. Don't do what I did. When I first started, I, I had a list with 30 things to do in a day. Don't do that. You need to really narrow that down to maybe one or to four or one to five things that you're going to do in a day. And write them down and cross them off when you do them. And if you don't get to all of them, you know, carry it over to the next day. Don't beat yourself up like I did because I'm a type A kind of girl <laughs> and that you actually can do it. If you're feeling a lump, that's why you have to have, you will have at least one person. I mean, I'm going to just be honest. Everybody may not be in your corner, but you may have at least one person that's going to be able to push you to your next level. If you don't have that, I help you with that. I mean, I love empowering people and, and helping people get out of that. What you're saying, Dr. Fish, when they get stuck, when they don't know uh, what to do, you got to pick yourself back up, listen to some music, go out dancing, just take a break and come back. And then, guess what? I guess I guarantee whatever you work on, it will actually be done in less time because you're actually clear, you're not stressed, and you're more relaxed, and you're able to walk out what you need to do. That makes perfect sense, Dr. Sunday, you know, and a lot of people really need to hear that because, you know, they need to know that it is okay to step out on faith and do what they need to do. They need to know that we have to have that motion, that drive, that motivation. So thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Sunday. And I would like to give you a last uh, some time to give your parting words for tonight. Well, I want to thank you so much, uh, Dr. Finch and um, Jessica. I, I just really appreciate you guys entrusting me to be on your platform and, and, and especially to empower people about their dreams, you know, because all of us have dreams. All of us have something that's known inside of us that needs to get out. The most important thing is, do not, do not, and I'm going to say that again, do not think that you can do it. You have to believe that you can do it. You have to believe it. Now, you won't be a millionaire overnight. Now, some people, you know, that happens. But let me tell you, it will happen. You have to be consistent and be around. And, and when they say like-minded people, they really mean that. You need to have a like mind. And I really believe in mentors and coaches, Dr. Finch. You really have to have someone that can hold your hand through the process as well. But the main relationship you have to have with no ill fans or but is you have to have a relationship with God that you just talk to him just like we're talking now, that you can pray to him, and he will give you a strategic plan that's specifically for you and it's not for anybody else. It's specific for you. But guess what? All the pieces come together and make a miracle that's going to actually help somebody come closer to him. And that's why we are here. We're not here for ourselves. We're here for him and to give him glory. Thank you, Dr. Fitz.
thank you so much, Dr. Sunday. And if something that Dr. Sunday said resonated with you, please find us on Change Your Minds Online. You can also find us on iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Tuned In, and, of course, our YouTube channel. Dr. Sunday, I want to thank you for letting people know that they can have all their dreams, you know, and still have all of their faith as well. I love the fact that you are an example of a woman who has not compromised their faith for the corporate world. You made it happen, and you are a true example to everyone who thinks that it can't happen. Thank you so much for being on the show tonight. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. It is definitely my pleasure. And please let the people know where they can find you. Well, uh, Dr. Finch, the easy way, everything is on one website, and that is www.reneesunday.com. And all the uh, social media platforms are on there, and you can just click, and it'll take you to them. But, again, that's www.reneesunday.com. Thank you, Dr. Renee. It has been a pleasure to speak to you on the three ways to unlock your dreams. I thank you so much as always and would love to have you back again, my sister. Oh, thank you so and, much. Yes. Yeah. And good night everyone.